Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. Uh, it's Thursday, April 28th. We're here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Uh, we're still covering the Hezbollah trial. Not still, it's going to go on for a while, and it's getting good. But yesterday, we stepped away from the trial to cover a press conference about the arrest, indictment, and unsealed indictment of Bill Huang of uh, Archegos. Um, it's a family office. It's not a hedge fund, as some have said, and there's a reason for that, and I'm going to get to the point. Um, Suffice it to say that Bill Wong was, he pled guilty to insider trading in 2012, chi trading in Chinese stocks, Chinese bank stocks. Um, so he pled guilty, and then he was back in the game. Now there's a family, family f uh, office loophole, but I couldn't help contrasting it to later in the day I was in the SDNY magistrate's court, and a guy charged with being a felon in possession of ammunition was detained. He's in jail, he's in the MDC in Brooklyn. So wasn't... Bill Wong, a felon in possession of a family office? I don't know. I went to the press conference to ask just that, but for whatever reason I wasn't able to. So I've, I've written online. You can take a look at innercitypress.com. We're also covering a bank fraud case of uh, Mr. Shin of the NOAA Bank, and a, the famous horse drugging trial has started up again in front of Judge Viscosal. Um, we asked some questions this morning to the IMF about cryptocurrency and the Central African Republic, and coups throughout Africa. Mali, Chad, Guinea, Burkina Faso. Now, we've asked the similar questions to the United Nations, and the reality is they don't answer any of them. In fact, in many of the situations that I've just named, they are complicit. Antonio Guterres is a man that's perfectly happy with dictators. And why? He himself is a dictator. Proof of the pudding. When Inner City Press asked about his finances, as is commonly done in most um, uh, non-dictatorial countries, uh, rather than amending his filings or saying, uh, being uh, verbally abusive, he had his own security throw inner city press out of the United Nations and now refuse not only to re-accredit it, to even answer a letter from pro bono by the Quinn Emanuel law firm. That's a dictator. Antonio Guterres is corrupt, and we insist on re-entry to the United Nations. But for now, into the courts. To be continued.